Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Heavenly Parent Holy Community Oceania Hundake with Reverend Yataka Yamada. And today is the, the first day of our sixth 40 day condition. Congratulations, everyone. <laughs> it's also Tuesday, the 31st of August, the 24th of July, in the ninth year of Chongo Guk. Let's offer a bow to our Heavenly Parents and True Parents, Chariot, Kyombe. And let's recite our family pledge, both in Korean and English. Thank you. 가정 면세 1. 전일국 주인, 우리 가정은 참 사랑을 중심하고 본연 땅을 찾아 본연의 찬조 이사인 지산 천국과 천산 천국을 창건할 것을 면세 하나이다. Family pledge number one. Our family, the owner of Chogunuguk, pledges to seek our original homeland and build the kingdom of God on earth and in heaven, the original ideal of creation by centering on true love. And, uh, I'd like to ask Doug to get off of the prayer this morning. Thank you. Good morning, Heavenly Parents. Good morning, True Parents. We are um, very grateful, Heavenly Father, that today uh, we can begin, Father, the uh, first day of the sixth, 40th day, Hundike morning service. Heavenly Parent, we have invested in 200 days, and we are so grateful for your leadership, for your inspiration, for your love to each and every one of us that has kept us here, inspired us, and touched us with tears and laughter and joy, given our day meaning each and every day, providing to us what we need to grow with and, and to uh, be inspired to action. Heavenly Parent, we have uh, the next 100 days before us, which would be um, a little uh, over 100 days, which are the, the next three 40-day periods in the lunar year. They are the completion stage, 40-day uh, periods um, of this year, a most important year, especially from this time forward. True Mother has made known to us that the conditions are, have been established for true father from the spiritual world after years of organizing the spiritual world is able to now work with true mother in a much more um, profound and direct way together as they prepare heavenly father to uh, really make great difference and improvements in this world. Father, to bring together the unification of North and South Korea, to make um, all the conditions that have to be done, Father, to uh, have that meeting on the 30th anniversary between True Mother, Kim Ong Jong, and between then and the establishment, Father, of the um, True Father's um, birthday, um, true parents' birthday, father, in the year 2022, when Think Tank 2022 is um, formally uh, inaugurated and the event takes place. We are aware of great changes and great new developments taking place, father, with the unification of North and South Korea the opening of the DMZ, the imminent collapse, father of uh, communist Chinese party, father somewhere between 24 and 2027, and all this rests upon this year and how this goes. Uh, so we pray that you can really um, help us to be aware at all times and prayerful and to make use of our time 
And we look forward to these next three 40 day periods for this uh, Lunar New Year that we are now in. We report this name of Douglas Mary and Carlos Moriarty, all blessed central families. Um, Adju. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And let's uh, welcome Reverend Yataka as he shares with us this morning. Thank you. Good morning, our brothers and sisters. Thank you for joining this morning, Fundoke. Today is the beautiful day, and today is the first day of six 40 days morning devotion. And in the Oceania level, we are also offering the 20 40 days chance on condition. So we really appreciate your everyday hard investment and chance on. Let's offer sincere devotion and prayer to our heavenly parents and true parents and to the people in this nation, region, and world. We really appreciate to all of you. So next 40 days, there is several special target and the e event. There is the Larry of Hope. There is also the PCLC, a Pacific Christian Leadership Conference, Inauguration Conference, and Chombo Family Registration Event and Think Tank 2022 Forum or several things. So this coming September 12th, there is Larry of Hope, seventh Larry of Hope. As I told you before, the former American Prime Minister, President, President Trump, I had already he finished to his uh, recording and gave the message already. So the content is really positive for Trimada, UPF, and the peace movement. So we need to offer the prayer well to success this conference on September 12th. And each nation is also preparing the live streaming through a TV station and the broadcast. So this is also a good opportunity. We should invite, introduce our ambassador for peace and also the guest, friend, relative for social event. So this is also a good opportunity, September 12th. Let's pray and invite. And next is also the inauguration conference of Pacific Christian Leadership Conference coming on October 4 and 5. And we try to welcome also Trimada. We are waiting and we wish Mada to give an inauguration speech. So through welcoming Mada to organizing this inauguration conference, we try to gather and connect all our Christian pastor and congregation and movement centering on our Trimada and Heavenly Parents and to connect to Heavenly Unified Korea and Heavenly Unified World. So last week or two weeks ago, we had the gathering together with representative of Christian minister from each nation, around 20 people. So when Dr. Kittle shared the vision of PCLC, their pastor was so much inspired talking about family value, youth, women, or several contents. And one of the ministers from Samoa, even he joined the first time, but he already started start thinking how to organize international marriage blessing or education or family movement. That's why this PCLC's concept is not trying to not try to change their denomination or their religion, not like this. Instead of changing their concept, we will come together centering on God, centering on heavenly parents and true parents to cooperate and to bring God into our society, nation, and world. This is the important point. We are, we, many society, we lose God. We don't, we don't, we don't live together with God. That's why we will bring God back into 
our place. This is our common goal and our target. So understand Jesus' heart, understand God's heart, and we will go together. Then they are also starting to come understand about meaning about true parents, meaning also God's heart, and meaning of about the movement in the nation and world. So we will create this beautiful atmosphere filled with Holy Spirit, start from this place of Pacific. That's why Unified World begins from Oceania. This vision will come true from this time. So three parents already proclaim to us, to the world. So let's unite and fulfill this vision from here to the world and cooperate heavily unified Korea and heavily unified world. We will become the forerunner to lead this providence. So these 40 days, coming 40 days, there are many special target providential points. So I hope please pray and support and cooperate to this moment. Okay, so let's continue our reading of True Mother's autobiography, Mother of Peace. Yesterday, we share about to create the world, to live for the sake of others. And now time period to live together with three mother in physical world. This time period is the golden period. So living for the sake of others and the world, which people will give unconditionally and love and trust and live for the sake of others. What kind of world it is? Can you imagine and can you describe and really visualize really this world will happen or not? Realize or not? Of course, our three parents is showing the way all the time. But those vision and those world, in order to connect into our life, each of us also have to effort each of us also have to seek that, how to fulfill those kind of ideal society, ideal nation and ideal world through investment, through seeking the truth, through seeking the way we could touch our three parents' heart and every parents' heart because already three parents went through those paths before us, then we could fulfill unity between heavenly parents, three parents, and ourselves. So last yesterday part, we share also mother mentioning about investment. Even three parents collect many donations, but those donations is not using for themselves. Three parents continuously investing for the society, building the school and development the society and also the nation and creating many projects and even business. And those business is not making the profit for them, but those business and project is carrying on for realizing God's ideal nation, God's ideal world. So when we see many kind of project, do you know the Korea Japan tunnel? Now to the parents already, proclaimed from 1981 or 1982, started 30 or 40 years ago. Those project, they, this project doesn't bring any money, no profit, continuously investing and using, but continuously still three parents organized and investing. And also uh, three parents built the Potongan Hotel and the automobile factory in North Korea. So this business is also not creating any benefit to us. Everything just offered to North Korea to help, to support North Korean business, North Korean uh, development and cooperation. And even now South America in a Jaruzin area, Reda area, continuously people is investing there to develop that area 
and the fish powder uh, project, Washington Times and Sega Times. So those project or business is not bringing the profit, actual profit to us, but continuously invest and invest and invest. And there are many kinds of another business also. So why Chile Parent is organizing those business and investment, even those things is not bringing the profit because as Trimada look at this earth, at everything, Trimada sees in it the ideal world that God desires. So originally when three parents organize those projects, each head of states, each nation should come together to invest their money together to build and fulfill this project. But still, they are not coming yet. That's why our movement, our members, our leaders put an offer and leading this project. That's why we could see how we can reach that point until each nation could accept, cooperate, and start to invest for this nation and this also earth and all human society. So that time period which are given is limited. During short limited time period, three parents have to fulfill many things. That's why how mother's heart is urgent. So if we can understand and we can connect with three parents' heart, this is really um, meaningful and the important things. So we could continue to read our mother's autobiography. We have established businesses around the world, fisheries, machine tool plants, pharmaceutical companies, newspapers, hotels, and more. Just in Africa, our members built the schools in Senegal, Mozambique, and Zambia, a school for the handicapped in Lagos, Niger, an orphanage in Nati Tingo and Northern Benin Republic, clinics in Kotono, Benin, and Nigeria Cross River State, a sausage factory in Lusako, Zambia, a hamburger franchise in Cote d'Ivoire, an agricultural school, and a food processing factory in a Democratic Republic of Congo and a farm in Lusaka, Zambia. So when we see in Africa, each nation, I never heard those names of the nation of Africa, but dearly three parents send the missionary and invested that place, several school, sausage factory, even hamburger franchise in those places. Maybe some of those names you had already before, and some things is maybe first time for you. But this is just part of the project in the world level. Three parents really created a lot of project in each place. In Oceania, in Solomon Island, also our old Solomon brothers and sisters invested, and our blessed families then fulfill and establish the three parents school in Solomon Island. And last week, uh, this week, last week, our Reverend Arnold uh, shared to us in the leaders' meeting. Reverend Arnold said, in the True Father Sonfa ceremony is also the public holiday for school. So all school students gather together and celebrate True Father's uh, holy ascension. So how much great. So Solomon uh, Island, this school project is now going well also. Please pray and support this school project. So in the world level, your parents is investing and many projects is going on. We never, we never focused on making a profit. Our movement's investment was to benefit the host nations, create jobs and improve society. We endured hunger because we knew there were people who were hungrier. We should not be indebted to heaven. 
people who follow the providential path while coveting material things violate heavenly law and bring sorrow to their parents. So three parents doing many projects and investment in each place. But what is the motivation? Where is the starting point? There is big differences between three parents investment and business and the society's business. What is the different point? When we see the business in the society, their main target, main goal is to create profit for own company. Of course, some company is investing for the society and supporting the society. But basically, the first target, first goal is to make a profit for the company, right? That's why people is doing business, right? Then after that, also thinking to cooperate for society. So sometimes some, some company in order to get in profit, profit, they sacrifice the peep, sacrifice and some make a negative influence to the people's life. Maybe some bad company, they in order to gain the profit, they destroy the society and also the people's life. For example, in order to gain the profit in the, some factory, they don't make uh, uh, some industrial waste. Usually, they have to make clean it about industrial waste. But in order to save their money, they just throw away the industrial waste in the river, in the mountain, in the nature, destroy the nature. And also, in order to gain the profit and more money, they use some kind of the negative, uh, negative material for creating the food. We could see the many food, but they are using some kind of poison or some kind of, uh, uh, I cannot find the word, but anyway, I hope you can understand. They are using some chemical, right? Chemical for the food then creating their food and get the benefit. That's why when we see the so social business, the target is profit for own sake. But how about true, true parents business? True parents business, first target, there is no concept of the profit. Parents, true parents concept, first target is to the God's ideal. How to develop our people's life in the society, how to make rich in this nation and how to give more, how to develop this field of each business or each area. This is the true parents' first target. Ilfa business, newspaper company, and the, the automobile factory, and heavy industrial, and laser business, everything. There are many business, but all target is for the people and society and national development. We are living here together with eternal ideal and eternal life. That's why we have to think those points well. Our target life goal is not in this physical world. We know our target is the eternal life and also eternal world. So mother said, we should not be indebted to heaven people who follow the providential path while committing material things violate heavenly law and bring sorrow to their parents. So we have to understand the heavenly law and also meaning of this physical life. Life is like running a marathon without knowing when it will end. A truly successful life is not powered by money, position, or authority. It is powered by true love. True love is a mother breath feeding when she is going hungry. That is the greatest love of all. Love is why we are here, how we should live, and where we are going. No matter the difficulties we face, the answer is to practice absolute faith, absolute love and absolute 
obedience. So mother is talking about life. Life is like running a marathon without knowing when it will end. So where is goal? And where is now standing po position? We could not see the goal yet. And we could not, the current, current place where we are reaching now. But definitely one thing is clear. We don't know this current position, but anyway, we are working toward goal. So like marathon. So have you, uh, have you have experience to do the marathon before? Maybe if you have experience, you can understand this feeling, the marathon. When I was a student, I was in the also the belong to the soccer club, and also in my high school, there was marathon competition. I did the 14 kilometer marathon. And also my soccer club coach pushing pushing us. We have to go into within top 20 among 800 people. That's why also our all soccer player, our soccer club people invest so much. When we start the marathon, 800 people run together. In the beginning was exciting, but going one kilometer, two kilometer, three kilometer, this fighting is not fight, compete with another person, compete with myself. I want to reduce my speed. I want to just compromise running. The top 20, maybe it's better to give up, just a uh, compromise because many people there, people could not recognize, just finish quickly or I want to give up. Many kinds of temptation is coming on the way to the marathon, but just believe, just desire, just think, the visualize the moment I end the marathon because of this vision and goal, finally overcome myself and really reach the goal because of we could see the beautiful moment and this kind of excitement when we end the marathon, that's why we could go. So where is the value of success? Where is the meaning of our life? And where is really the real target and goal? Living for the sake of others, think for others. Till mother said, mother, love for children is really the true, true love. It will sacrifice their life. So when we could see clearly about our goal and our, our life target, then we can finish, we can end this run of marathon in our life. So mother said, our life is like marathon. If we could not see clearly the goal yet, but we should not stop here. We should not compromise our battle inside of our, ourselves. We have to continuously go to reach until the last moment. Then our heavenly parents welcome us. Our two parents welcome us. My dear son, dear daughters, dearly you did good job. I'm really proud of you. I'm really happy to see your whole life, your heart, your investment. So mother is sharing about the life and also meaning of our life. If you reflect on God's heart, you will recognize that the hardships and suffering that you may be going through are nothing compared to his. We have to repent before God. You did not bring yourself into the world. Your life is a gift from God. His will for us is that we make our lives beautiful and worthwhile. When we believe in our hearts that we are here for our children and family, for our spouse, as well as for all humanity and the entire world, we will find happiness when we understand when we find that original existence, existence of God, then we could find the value of our life more. So beyond myself, beyond my concept, my concept, we should understand we are actually living under God's uh, 
God a boundary under God. So as the children, if children stay together with parents, how much children's heart will be comfort? If you stay with parents in that childhood time, how much we feel we can be comforted. Father also mentioned in father's autobiography, when father's father, father carried on to father on his back, how much to father felt the peaceful and comfortable heart. So living together with parents, actually, this is a beautiful moment. So we can live together with God. We can together with we can live together with parents. We can be happy. We can be enjoying. And we can be grateful. Together with God, together with family, together create with brothers and sisters to be happy. This is natural things. This is allowed to allow us to be happy. That's why we have to live together with God. We have to live together with parents and live together with all family in the world. This is really our vision and our hope. So mother said, when well, we believe in our hearts that we are here for our children and family, for our spouse, as well as for all humanity and the entire world, we will find happiness. So mother is sharing those happiness and those life and also our world how we can connect our mother's sincere heart in sharing and investment when we read our mother's autobiography very each chapter by chapter there is several topic but common things is really those wishes come from our heavenly parents and come from our two parents and if we fulfill this dream and ideal definitely we can be happy our family member become happy and all our the people in the world including our heavenly parents also three parents can be happy this is our ideal and this is our vision so why three parents investing so much and offer the whole life because three parents could recognize and realize and understand our heavenly parents heart and wish sorrowful situation and also investment whole time to each of us our as the brother as the uh god's son and god daughters so through Fundoke, through reading through offering chanson let's seek our god's heart let's seek our heavenly parents and true parents heart let's become filial son and daughters and offer the happiness and victory. So today, also, we are doing a fundoke. I'm really appreciate everyone to join every morning. Let's put our sincere devotion and let's create the beautiful, great moment. Thank you very much once again. Kamsamida. Kamsamida, thank you, Reverend Yutaka. As always, you're really helping us to see more clearly. Uh, I was. Uh, 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 caught up with, uh, as, as you were uh, speaking about being, you know, we should not be indebted to heaven and you know, not give sorrow to our parents. And uh, I, I was reflecting on that and reflecting on the story you talked about, uh, the marathon runner, and, uh, uh, and just thinking uh, about that. And I remember... Uh, 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 a lesson that I learnt uh, from my son uh, uh, Jongsil uh, when he was in primary school uh, running a race uh, because um, the thing about uh, you mentioned yes uh, in, in part of the uh, the running in the marathon is to overcome yourself you know to challenge yourself you know, uh, to to uh, it's it's more than uh, the need for uh, uh, to win, you know the the the, the challenge yourself. Uh, you really have to push until you know, you, you can you know, reach the finish line. 
And uh, with my son, uh, uh, we went to the school uh, uh, running, uh, the school event, you know, running races and, and uh, sports day. And uh, he was in uh, uh, yeah, the, the fine, they, they had done already the pre preliminaries, so they were just speeding up. And so everything on the day that we went uh, was all the finals of the race of all the different age groups. And, and Jongsa was in uh, the, the final and all the boys lined up. And uh, uh, they, they all started to run and you could see all the parents, you know, getting excited. Yes, go, you know, it, it, yeah, encouraging their son to go, go faster and, and do more. And, and uh, I, I noticed uh, uh, something my, my son did, which you know, surprised me and surprised everybody. He, 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 was, he was definitely faster than everyone else. He ran in front and then he stopped and he turned around and looked at all his friends. And then he waited for his friends to catch up. And then he ran again and was in front. And then he stopped and he waited for his friends to catch up. Uh, and then uh, uh, he, he got to the, the finish line before the others and he, and he didn't cross. He just waited for his friends to catch up. And then, and then he, uh, he, he let his best friend go first and then he crossed. And uh, <laughs> it was very interesting. I was, I was really surprised. And you know, all, all the uh, other parents were <laughs> really surprised. And you know, some, some were angry. They said, why didn't you just run and finish and win? And, uh, and, uh, I, yeah, and uh, you know, he, he just said he wanted to, to win together with his friends. Because uh, I asked him, why, why, why did he run? And he says, well, I was only running because I was running with my friends. I didn't join the race to win. I joined the race to run with my friends. And uh, so I, 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 I learned the lesson there that you know, we get so caught up in, in making the victory and pushing ourselves and, and, and thinking about all of those interesting uh, challenges you know, that we really have to you know, overcome ourselves and to do this. But, but then for, uh, uh, that, that investment, sometimes we can get lost in the investment and, and forget the whole reason we're doing it. And, uh, and when I reflected again on, don't want to be indebted to heaven, you know, don't want to give sorrow to our parents. We want to, he, he wanted to experience joy and happiness with his friends. And so, and so it occurred to me that you know, we should run the marathon together. It shouldn't be an individual race. You know, we should run it together. We should all finish. We should all win. Yeah, and and we and that would make our parents very happy. We don't want to be the the best son. Yeah, there, there's no point in being on top when everyone else is on the bottom. There's, there's no uh, uh, joy or, or victory. So he, he really uh, showed me a, a lesson that day about how uh, everyone can win and everyone. Uh, uh, can can really can really benefit when we we are running the race for others, and not just uh, challenging. And so I, I found that uh, interesting, and I often remember that because it it actually happened, and I was, and the responses from other parents were most of them were really surprised and happy. Uh, but some was really angry. <laughs> like I was uh, uh, interested to see uh, 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 how that that reaction. You know that you could clearly see the focus of the parents. Uh, yes, so that was uh, uh, an experience. Uh, that I, yeah, thank you. And uh, And just to let people know, uh, Mary Kamara is back in, in Tasmania and she's sitting in a hotel, I believe, <laughs> doing quarantine. <laughs> she just waved, just in case. <laughs> All right. Who would like to share? Uh, yes, Reverend Ito, go ahead. Uh, greeting to everybody. Uh, 
thank you very much, uh, prayer for Douglas. And uh, yeah, about uh, Fazer's project worldwide and uh, especially West Africa, uh, men mentioned about Benin and uh, yeah, capital of Benin is called Cotonou and uh, Nigeria and those area. Uh, because of the original president at the time, you know, Cassie Ligny, she brought, you know, a hamburger, hamburger restaurant to the Ivory Coast. And uh, so same model to the different nation, include our nation also, Burkina Faso. And uh, only one hamburger, there's an, like a chain, you know, not like a, a McDonald's like this, but, you know, hamburger house, uh, you know, we also brought a uh, grill from the New York and the uh, milkshake machine. And so member, we educate member. Member make, you know, cheesecake, you know, chocolate cake, and, uh, you know, milkshake, you know, amazingly. You know. So many American and the uh, European come, you know, the beginning, you know, right up, you know. So the telephone call coming, there's no meat more anymore. So please buy quickly like this. <laughs> yeah, so, so busy, you know, the so-called hamburger house. But after some time, you know, this is so a business, you know, that many times, same guy coming and they learn about it, they open up another restaurant. <laughs> and, the, and the customer moved to that place, you know. The, something, this, if you start business, something like this, you know. Anyway, this make model still continue, you know, the, this is some idea, you know, hamburger and the milkshake, you know. Yeah, they make good, quite good milkshake and hamburger. Mm -hmm and uh, uh, cheeseburger, you know? And I make myself, you know, like uh, also uh, croque monsieur, croque madame, croque monsieur, like a French style, you know, and, uh, and uh, egg up of the, you know, the croque monsieur, croque madame. And I made, you know, uh, yeah, something in the, the name of Fujiyama <laughs> style, you know, like uh, dishes, you know? so. This place is many people coming and good for witnessing, you know, sometime for business side and the government official coming. And uh, yeah, but some, you know, strange guy coming, they, oh, this is uh, some Mooney like this, you know. We, when he left, I, I, I s spread out the salt, you know, get out like that. <laughs> so the kind of thing. Anyway, this is uh, something, you know, for African people, you know, completely different culture abroad, you know, but for Europeans, very, you know, and like an oasis in the desert, you know, <laughs> they find it. milkshake, wow, <laughs> like this, <laughs> and the cheesecake, you know. So cheesecake is very good, you know. So we make already, you know, make model, very rich. You know, Japanese cheesecake is not, <laughs> laugh, not so rich, you know, but American cheesecake is very rich and, you know, <laughs> Yeah, exactly like American style cheesecake and the chocolate cake, you know. Member make, you know, in the hamburger pot also. They make, you know, how many fat together like this, you know. Everything they made. And amazingly, yeah, this is something, you know. Uh, anyway, benefit is not so much in reality. We supported our fundraising, you know, supporting this restaurant. But anyway, just make something impact to the society. Same yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much, sir. Uh, yes, Doug, go ahead. Uh, this might be my only chance to actually talk about business. So I, I have to take the opportunity. Um, it, you know, we said without vision, people perish. And we're in this time where the whole world tree is shaking, you know? So people are really lost, spaced out. They're very confused. Um, and, and some people think uh, business is, 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 is not even significant in any way. It's going to be lost in the trash of human history, you know? But um, I think um, what, the point I want to make out is that business is like a tree, okay? Uh, that uh, is a building tree. Uh, bringing the provision of goods and services. So uh, the development of, of, of business itself goes is, is like in a three-stage development. 
um, independent, family-owned, privately-owned entrepreneurial enterprise is the first stage of business. The second stage of business that we're in right now is, um, is like the tree, not, not the seed, but the tree. And it's um, corporations, you know? Corporations are um, basically a tree without fruit, you know? Uh, it's, it's a source of much division and despair and misuse and so forth, you know? Um, and yet the corporations are so powerful in the world today, you know? And it's a dangerous uh, thing. Sometimes they provide good services, sometimes they don't. Um, and they're more likely as they get more and more powerful to, to uh, misuse their power. But the third stage of corporate business is coming. And um, that's the ideal world. Corporations are very important for future provision of goods and services. So when they reach the third stage, they will not be uh, arranged in the same way, okay? They will be uh, owned by us, you know? Uh, they will provide for us. We will be the owners of corporations, you know? So I just want, can I read, I'm gonna read something very quickly. Um, from we the people and the success of our democracies around the world came national sized corporations. Then these corporations expanded on that foundation. When they went international, they became dollar goliaths, money goliaths. They demanded rights and our governments gave them legal citizenship and courts. They are, then they demanded free trade and our governments never thought of asking if they would be doing fair trade, which they did not do. In time, they went rogue. Now these bastardized corporations loaded with money by politicians the world over, and our democracies have become corporatocracies. They plan everything, they audit everything, and there is no transparency between government and business. Um, uh, there is no transparency because government and business have made marriage with one another. They treat us, the owners, as children. Have we ever seen this happen before? Oh yeah, the Politburo of Stalin. He was a character, was he not? Well, we have new characters in play in, our, in a new way. We, the peoples of the world nations, it's gonna end soon, <laughs> having lost our politicians to prostitution are without the dollar power of the international corporations. And guess what? Corporations don't care what you eat, as long as you eat what they will give you. So people, <laughs> I'm coming to an end. <laughs> so people still have one real vote, that is boycott, bad corporations to start, those who are not doing the right thing, some corporations are still right-minded, nations have fallen by boycott. Corporations will also diversify local development, move away from monoculture methods of farming, localize uh, uh, development of beef, children, everything, uh, chicken, everything. That makes more dependency uh, that does not need to be um, when you're not localized, you don't have a local base for production. A little more diversity is what the world needs to, and to do it locally. In time, we can rein in this monster and restore good government. There are millions and millions of people looking at this situation. And with today's um, internet still free, the world will deal with this. One thing is certain, life does get better. We have come a long way in the last few thousand years. A lot of good stuff yet to come. Okay. Thank you, Doug. Okay, uh, Steve has his hand up. Go ahead, Steve. Uh, good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for attending this and for breaking new ground as we continue uh, joining each other and sharing, receiving inspiration and, and applying our own life experiences to, you know, typify the uh, importance of what we're doing uh, by our sharing. I want to think of you to think about uh, something that I experienced. Maybe we can apply this in our own lives. And that was that I, I was a marathoner when I was younger. And I started out running five and 10 Ks. Um, this is in my thirties because I, 
I felt like I was uh, not in good health and I was getting flabby and I was getting lazy and, and whatnot. And I thought, well, let's, let's do some other discipline. So I started doing this. And then I thought, well, Father always talked about our life of faith as being like a marathon. So I thought, well, let's train for marathons. So I started running 50 miles a week. And if I would go and I work all day, I'd come home and I was tired, but yet I hadn't done my training for the day. I even got out of bed a few times and went out and ran in the dark because I didn't feel like I'd made my offering for the day in preparation for my marathons. But I didn't know something was, was wrong. I just kept pushing myself. And I went out one day and ran an 18 miler and I really damaged my knees. I just felt like I had to push through it, push through the pain. But what had happened is that my hips and my knees and my ankles are not lined up straight. I'm bow legged and so my knees are out. And the more I ran, the more I pushed my knees out and the more I damaged my knees. So after that, I never was able to run again. And I used to run many, many miles. I had run from my house all the way through downtown Portland, out to my folks' house, sit down and have a cup of coffee with my dad and run back. And I wouldn't even be winded at the end of running. This is how much I loved it. But I went to a physiotherapist here in uh, Karamundi, where I live, and my physiotherapist is the uh, Olympic uh, physiotherapist for the Australian triathlon team. And he looked at me and he said, Steve, you should never run because you're out of alignment. And the more you ran, the more you damaged yourself. And you, you, you're in ignorance. You didn't know, but you should have never done that. And we can apply that today in my estimation. You know, we're... We're on this spiritual marathon following the way, and there's resistance to us because of ignorance. Um, and I think that Satan knows two parents are on the earth, and he's trying everything he can to stop us, to confuse us, to keep us from our success, knowing his time is, is short. And Revelations 12 talks about this and, and how... Satan is loose on the earth right now and is trying to confuse people. The mark of the beast, the, these kinds of things are happening. This is the age in which we live. And the great dragon is communism. So we have to be aware that even though we're on this marathon, we cannot live in ignorance. We can't just look at the goal and deny the reality because we could be deceived. And I think in some ways, Satan's trying to deceive us. We have to be aware not only of the spiritual, but the physical reality around. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I think the message that Steve is trying to, to convey is the fact that um, when we try to do things, we need to educate ourselves as much as possible. Because what happened to Steve is he... He was so enthusiastic about reaching the goal, but he didn't really check out enough that he had in fact uh, a situation that didn't lend itself to completing that goal. And so I think that whatever we do as much as possible, uh, we need to educate ourselves uh, about uh, what is going on so that we complete, can truly complete the goal successfully, victoriously. And uh, the, the situation today, as Steve said, is very confusing. There's a lot of confusing things uh, in our media. Uh, there's a lot of confusing things going around, around that people are spreading with each other. And I just think that we have to try to look at all different angles uh, and, and see what is the best. Listen to each other. Listen to uh, alternative media, listen to things like Washington Times that Father created uh, and, and make the best decision based not on just what we would like to, to see happen, but to be aware of what really is going on around us. And I think the idea of us really respecting each other's decisions and listening to each other and trying to, I think all of us are really trying to do the best for each other and to get to the goal. But 
uh, we will never do it if we don't really uh, cooperate and work together and make that goal achievable. So I'm not sure if I'm doing justice exactly to what uh, Steve was trying to say, but I think it always, we should try to, to do the things that we can uh, to find out, to educate ourselves as much as we can about the important things to help us to reach that goal. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Susie. Thank you. And uh, everyone, it's uh, now time to offer our unison prayer. So I'll just uh, share the screen. Uh, let's uh, pray together.
Adieu, adieu, adieu. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day. So to, today is uh, Daniel's uh, happy birthday today. Uh, happy birthday. 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 Lots of kids. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday. 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 Happy birth